Hey everyone, so today I'm doing this look that uh, I'm doing mostly because I love this song so much. It's a very, very simple look, nothing like too crazy, very easy to recreate. It is from the Love and War music video from the amazing Tamar Braxton, which I love. Now, of course, the music video is in black and white, so you might be wondering, uh, where did he get all those colors from? Well, I was sent some, um, some behind the scenes photos and Actually, there was a lot of behind the scenes videos where you can see Tamar like in the flesh with the true colors and everything. So you can see um, what she used or the finishes and all of that jazz. So anyways, enough uh, blabbing and rambling. If you want to learn how to complete this look, well, keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a very medium light brown that has a little bit of warmness to it. This is called Kid from MAC. And I'm just going to take a stiff flat brush like this over here. And you just want to apply that, excuse the sound, apply that right onto the lid. Just tap it on. And then with a the fluffy brush, you just want to make sure you diffuse the edges. Now after you want to bring that brown a little bit more upward, so I'm going to take the same color but with a fluffy brush like this. And I'm just going to slowly bring that up. And before I forget, you want to go back with your flat brush and just apply that on the lower lash line. And after I want to do a little bit of uh, definition into the crease, I'm going to take just a little bit of a deeper brown. This is a medium brown from MAC, if I can focus, uh, called Cork. Almost dropped it, girl. So I'm going to take the same fluffy brush but this time around, I'm just going to focus that right in the crease. Just a tiny bit, nothing too eccentric. Just to create a little bit of depth, especially because we use only one color. After I'm going to take a very beautiful brown from Annabelle in the number 127. It is a deep mocha brown with that has a little bit of shimmerness to it. Shimmerness, I don't know if that's the word, but either way, I'm going to use that. And you know where I'm going to apply that, so right in the root of the lashes, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. Just because I'm going to be applying lashes, as you know, moi. And as you can see, I'm just flicking up the color a little bit while I'm applying it. I don't want it to be so precise. And, of course, on the outer corner of the lower lash line, Tamar does have lashes on the bottom lash line. She's a big fan of those, so I need something dark that will kind of um, disguise my lash band. After for the brow bone uh, highlight, I'm going to use a satin color from MAC, which is called Shroom. It's a very nude color, but with minimal shimmer to it. And just applying that right underneath the brow. And blending it down. Tear duct area. After on the waterline, I'm not too sure if Tamar has um, either a color, um, colored pencil or a nude pencil liner, whoops, but I'm going to use a um, eye pencil from Annabelle in Brun and just apply that onto the waterline I'm not going to bring it right into the inner corner, mostly on the outer corner and blend it outward, well inward, just like so after I'm going to be applying the lashes, now I, as much as I want to use my um, velour lashes, I'm going to stay true to uh, the look, the Tamar look, and I'm going to use the Red Cherry 415, but I'm going to use two stacks of them on top of the other because it looks like she has a lot of um, volume on her lashes. So right here, there's two. I don't know if you can see yet, yeah, right there. So, let's apply those. So I've applied the upper lashes. Now for the lower lashes, I've applied um, two coats of mascara. The reason why I'm doing so is because I have very, very little bottom lashes for some reason. And instead of doing a strand, which 
someone sometimes looks kind of funny. I'm going to take lashes like these. And I'm going to take the outer corners and basically cut the little strands and place them where I need them on my lower lash line. So the lashes are finally applied. Now it took me like forever to apply those little strands on the bottom lash line, but I think it does add a lot to the look. Next, I'm going to bronze up the face. I'm going to use my uh, Chanel Tan de Chanel. It's a bronzer that smells expensive. And I'm just going to warm up the face a little bit. Next, for the blush, I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to use a darker color, which is very dark. It's called Raisin from MAC, which is a brick, orangey brick color, which if you're a darker skin tone, you need to have this color. So I'm going to use that, but very, very, very minimally. I'm even going to take some off and I'm mostly going to apply that in the back of my cheekbone. So mostly in the hairline, very little. Just to kind of warm up, warm up the face once again. And then for the actual blush, I'm going to use Margin from MAC, which is a nice nudish, pinky, uh, peachy color. It's really hard to describe, but I'm going to use that mostly on the apples of the cheeks. And then for the lips, uh, Tamar always has some sort of like pink on her lips. So I'm going to, uh, first of all, line my lips with, oh. I'm spitting everywhere. Line my lips with a very nude color. Just to going to amplify my lips a little bit. I'm going to use uh, Demure. Demure from uh, Annabelle, which is called Modeste in French. And then to make the lips a little bit more pinky, I'm going to use my favorite um, nudish uh, pink, which is called Please Me, and it's from MAC there and just gently onto the lips you don't want it too much you don't want to define it your um, outer lips too much it's just a wash of color and then to finalize the look I'm going to use a uh, dazzle glass from Mac which is called Shazam that has a lot of pink reflex to it silver and pink reflex so it's going to bring out the uh, lips even more So there you have it. This is the completed look, the Tamar Braxton Love and War um, makeup look. Hopefully you enjoyed. Now, of course, I'm white and light and Tamar is caramel and sexy. So I had to adjust to uh, the intensity of the colors and all of that jazz. So anyways, make sure you adapt it to yourself and make it your own. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Somebody said every day was gonna be sunny skies. Only Marvin Gaye and lingerie. I guess somebody lied. Blame it. The truth be told.